Hello YouTube. Looks like we're running. Can we run? Yeah, okay, we're working. Alright. So I want to talk about stock that I've been seeing it pop up a lot on YouTube. If you ever if you ever click on one of their ads and go up to their site, you're gonna see a lot of their advertisements. It's gonna pop up every time you're on YouTube. <clears throat> and so who is this that I'm talking about? It's Timu. Timu Company. So it's temu.com. I'm going to put all the links in the description there below so you can do your own reading and your own follow-up on this. And um, I ordered some stuff from them. It took about eight days to get it, and it come from China. So this is the Boston-based company. And to find out about what what the tax, or tax, this is tax season, I've got taxes on my mind. If, what, if you want to find out about the stocks, if, about the go, if you go to the About page, which I already have that up, so Timu, spelled T-E, or sounds like T-E-E-M-O-O, -E Timu. Is an online marketing that connects consumers with millions of sellers, manufacturers, and brands around the world with the mission to empower them to live their best lives. Timu is committed to offering the most affordable quality products to enable consumers and sellers to fulfill their dreams in an exclusive, inclusive environment. Timu was founded in Boston, Massachusetts in 2022 by its parent company, PDD Holdings, NASDAQ PDD, which also operates Pen Duo Duo in China. So what does Timu mean? Timu means team up, price down. We hope that you will enjoy the affordable quality products we offer on our marketplace from millions of sellers and manufacturers or brands around the world. How do you pronounce Timu? It is simple as T Moo. <laughs> All right, so let's get down here to business here. How did the Timu come about? Timu started in 2022 from Boston through HTTPS Timu.com and its mobile apps, Android, uh, iOS. So Timu leverages parent company PDD Holdings' vast deep network of merchants, logistic partners, and its established ecosystem built over the years to offer a wide range of affordable quality products to our customers. In 2021 alone, PDD Holdings, NASDAQ PDD, generated $14.7 billion in revenue, $2.2 billion in net income. U.S. dollars and U.S. dollars 4.6 billion net cash from operating activities. So this is a huge, huge, huge operation. They are really, I mean, they are really making the money and they are really pushing the ads on YouTube. Like I said, if you ever click an ad on them, you're going to see that ad every time that you get on YouTube. That ad is going to pop up. Uh, so... It's got 14.4 billion in revenue, 2.2 billion in net income, and 4.6 billion net cash generated from operate activities 2021. It's handled 61 billion orders from 11 plus million suppliers in 2021. This is a huge, huge, huge deal. I mean, if you go out here and you look. So one of the things that I ordered from them, what if I do a search for it? Is a money gun. They were sold out of the gold one. I ended up with this red one here is what I ordered. So, and I didn't go with the cheap one because I figured the cheaper that you buy, you pay for it, it might be the more cheaply made. But they've got all kinds of money guns. You see these things on PUBG. <laughs> As one of the things that you can win from a, like a crate, gift crate. So I think I have one of those in my inventory on PUBG uh, New State. So, and I think mine is red just like this. So, um, 
and it shoots out money, and that's what it does on the gun. It's just something fun for kids to be playing with, I guess, on the game. But uh, this thing right here is sold to use for um, birthday parties and uh, just, you know, if you're going to give, like, your grandkids gifts or something, you can shoot it out. And, I mean, just 1098 for the gun. It runs off of batteries, two AA batteries. Mine has no wording on it or anything just like that. So... And I bought like a hundred thousand dollars of a hundred dollar bills <laughs> to use in the gun, but it comes with a small stack about so yay big, probably about a maybe a quarter of an inch thick of paper money, just plain white. It does not even look like real money to shoot out of the gun when the gun comes. It's got it's got money with it. It's got play money with is what it's got but i wanted to buy this money here this is like moon movie money that looks realistic but it's stamped that it's made for movie production is copy money it's his copy money right there in small letters right there but um anyway took eight days for the order to get here and um I don't know. I guess the quality of the gun's decent. I mean, what it is, it's just a plastic gun, and it's it's got a little wheel that spins, and it shoots money out. And you put the stack of bills on top of the gun, and it only allows one or two to come out at a time and shoots the money out. So, And you can make a mess really quick in a short amount of time. So... <laughs> But, again, if you're going to give your kid, maybe a grandkid, a $20 or something, put $1 bills in there and shoot out the $20, let them go scramble and try to find the money and or pick it up or whatever or catch it, uh, you know, it's, this might be a fun little novelty item to have here. I might, have, I might eventually do a little contest if I can get my ratings up or get my subscriptions up to give it away in the, the $100,000 that I purchased with the gun. So, uh that's what I'm thinking on anyway. So anyway, but they back to the back to Timu. Um, this they've got all kinds of. This reminds me of Spencer's catalog, um, in different different companies in the past since the '80s, and and this is like, I mean, it's just like ordering off of Amazon. Typically, I mean, you can get um, Doge coin, little uh, metal Doge coins, and uh, let's look at let's let's look at Doge coin, dog coin. Right there, there it is. There's the Doge coin. This is well, this is the image everybody always shows in their in their crypto videos. It's this Doge coin. You can get it in gold, or you can get you a, a silver one. Silver one's a little cheaper. This one's got a little more detail to it. I mean, you got the black on the nose on the dog and stuff, and they come in little plastic cases and stuff. But, I mean, if you're into crypto and stuff, you can order yourself a, like a little, like a, a little memento uh, doge coin. I think they have Ethereum. They have, you can get Bitcoin coins. They have the Bitcoin. They have Trump coins. I mean, they got... I mean, you just use your imagination. Do some searches on this thing. You can come up with some stuff. There's a Masonic Freemason coin. Uh, let's see. There's a cross. I thought about doing the Jesus coins and buying a bunch for the church and using them for give out... Said Let the church give those out for people to come to the... Um, to the passion play. I don't know, though. I mean, <coughs> you know, that stuff right there is draws dust. Some people might appreciate it. I could probably could order some for, like, the children's church and, like, the, the youth pastors could give them out to the kids, uh, you know, for, uh, you know, or give them out when they have baptisms. If, it, if it, they get a new kid in the church and have baptisms, you can give one to the kid as a memorial of, of their baptism, being baptized. But um, just, I mean, there's, they've got thousands upon thousands. Uh, there's a Litecoin coin. They did have Ethereum, and I don't see Ethereum showing up in the list right here. I know what's in there, though. There it is. There's Ethereum, one ETH. 
So uh, just, I mean, just different things. There's another, there's another design for Bitcoin. There's another one. I mean, it's just all kinds of like coins and stuff. If you have a flea market booth, uh, might not be a bad place to pick up some stuff with items if you want to sell them in the flea market. I mean, you know, you just never know what's going to sell when you're doing that kind of stuff. But anyway, so we went to the about page. And uh, we talked about this. So they've got um, the leading, they, they have a leading, the leading social commerce platform serving 900 million users worldwide. So this is a worldwide organization. So uh, Timu's online marketplace for. Products at any time, anywhere, and any quality. So, here's some more stats off of their about page. You employ 10,000 employees globally. They have 11 plus million merchants, and they have 61 billion annual orders. So, and you can download their app on the, on the App Store or Google, Google Play. I, I did online through the browser. I don't have the app on my phone. I don't know how much I would even order from this company. I mean, if it just depends. It's just a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff and I'm on the website. But the interesting thing about this, if I go look at this company, right now their stock is PDD. Dollar sign PDD if you want to search on Twitter. It is running $92.45 a share. So the year range was from $23.21, was low up to $106.38 is the highest price. Market cap was $116.89 billion. Average volume is $7.69 million. And they are on the NASDAQ. They're over. They're not a penny stock. <clears throat> they had been a penny stock. If a person had bought into this when it was a penny stock, oh my word, you'd have some money. Um, but, you know, it, it's not too late to invest in some stuff like this. I think that they're going to be around for a while. You know, right now, look at this. It says compared to Alibaba. Is a trading at $103.65. Alibaba is another uh, e commerce site that does pretty much the same thing as Timu is doing. Alibaba is not advertised quite like Timu. Timu's really hitting advertisement really hard. They're really, they're really hitting YouTube hard with advertisement. So, um, And Amazon's trading at $97.61, just a little higher than this. And it's the Chinese Amazon is what this is. I guess, well, I can't, can I say that it is? Because they're, uh, they've got an office in Boston. But all the stuff comes from Chinese factories and stuff. It's, it's a Chinese factories and stuff. But Amazon, JD.com is about half the price. You know, it's this stock has potential to go up. I think it's probably going to the way they're hitting advertisement. I feel like they're going to they're going to keep up with Amazon. I really think they will. If they keep up good quality service and and decent shipping, I got free shipping on what I get, I ordered. So, um, here's the here's the Wikipedia site. Pin Duo Duo Incorporated Chinese Pinion is a subsidiary of PDD Holdings. It leverages technology to promote and enable the traditional agricultural industry. It has created a platform that connects farmers with consumers directly in 2021. 16 million farmers supply their fruits and vegetables to Pin Duo Duo users. The company generated RMB 2.44 trillion, which is 383 billion gross merchandise value in 2021. 
For the 12 months ending of March 31, 2022, Penn Dual Dual's annual active buyers reached 881.9 million. So, there's the Wikipedia page on that, and I also have the e-commerce page for PennDualDual.com. Now, you come out here, it's going to be all Chinese, and you have to click up here on you thing and, and tell it that you want to translate it to, uh, where did I click on it? It's probably here. Translate. Yeah, you right click on the page and translate to English. And then you tell it English. So, and then you can scroll down and look, you can see the onion rings and, uh, looks like donut dough balls or something like that or some kind of candy. Oh, excuse me. Clothing. It's like coffee. That says Nescafe with some Chinese writing on it. So we might, they may import stuff out of the United States as well. But all kinds of fruits and vegetable items, drinks, um, nuts, clothing, plastic products, they have appliances. I mean, it's pretty pretty well. Um, they have a pretty big operation going on here. So, and uh, I just wanted to bring up the Amazon ninety seven, and they got up to one hundred seventy eighty three for the day, the year range. So, I mean, they're right there with Amazon. I'm just bringing this out to your attention, just in case you didn't know. You might have seen Timu, seen the ads on uh, YouTube or on other websites. I know they are advertising pretty heavy. I mean, you can get pet products. I mean, little booties for your dogs and stuff, hats for your cats. <laughs> it's just, uh, just all kinds of, I mean, if you want trinkets and all kinds of stuff, uh, there's a leather wallet with a Labrador on it your lab person there's a pit bull wallet i mean they just throw all kinds of different products at you there's a money i've seen these money counting machines for a long time it's a good educational thing my my youngest boy had one of these and it would count his money as he dropped it in in the lost slot just based off the size of the coin you were putting in it, it knew how much it was and i mean 748 you know, a gift, birthday gift for a, a kid, for your one of your kids or your grandkids or something, great grandkids. Um, uses PayPal for payments. But I, you know, this is a pretty big outfit. I, they even had um, security. Let's look at security stuff. You can get, you can get. A lot of cameras and stuff you see on Amazon and stuff. A lot of the security devices you see on Amazon, you can get on this thing. You can get on uh, Timu. Little security lights, motion activated, solar powered. For $4, under $5. There's a mini uh, security camera you can set up for $5. Six dollars, pretty much. There's another one for six dollars. There's a uh, video doorbell for twelve ninety eight. Luminous tape for your steps, so you people could see the steps when they walk up. They've got a um, a light socket camera, just all kinds of different uh, different things you could order and buy on this stuff. Pass password key box like the um, realtors use for. 648 a security door latch that you use the motels to keep people from just walking in in your room um, a lock for your windows so somebody can't slide your windows open jimmy that open security stickers i mean just all kinds of you can use your imagination and, and do searches on this thing and find i mean thousands i mean you'll be on this site for hours looking at this site but anyway, this is an interesting is an interesting stock. They are on the Nasdaq, and again, 
They are trading at 92.45. They've been up to 106. I think year to date. Okay, so that says 104. That's funny. It says 106 here. It might be after hours trading too that they hit 106. So that might be come into play. This might be just only during hours trading, but um. I think they got potential to get back to 106 over time. I don't see anything about. Let's go to yahoo.com. Uh, I thought I had the link there. I'll look at that. They put a thing on my Google homepage now so I can go straight to their site. <laughs> So, anyway, I just thought it was an interesting company, and I thought they would little gun would be a fun little thing to use, maybe for a video or something. So, um, and maybe maybe end up giveaway on my my Twitch channel, uh, just because that's one of the items you can get, you know, as a novelty thing in the game. So, uh, what were we doing? PDD. Where was I going with this? Let's see. So, year to date, I want to see if, no, they're not paying dividends. That was what I was curious about, see if they were paying dividends, but they're not paying dividends. <clears throat> um, they are considered to be undervalued right now by Yahoo. So... I, I really think as big as they are, the, what they're doing as far as volume and product, I I could see this getting up higher. I could see the price going on up about hundred. And I'm not saying it's going to, but I could I can imagine it's been they've been up to what I say 107 was the highest was the range that they had here on Google. Um, what was their what was their past? Let's get back over here. 106, 104, five years. So their top price is just under $100, $196.59 right here, if you go out to five years. So they peaked. They must have spiked up to $196.59. February 12th, 2021, just a few years ago. So... They've hit almost two hundred dollars. They can get back up there, I do believe. As the economy starts turning around, more and more people start hearing about them and learning about them. Um, I, I could see this company's going to be around for a while. Uh, they've got the infrastructure for shipping stuff out of China and bringing it in the U.S. Now, if we end up in some kind of Chinese war, that might hurt this stock. It might hurt this, especially if the U.S. says. Well, we're not allowing anything out of China. But if they've got other connections with other countries other than China and they're shipping, then they could probably just turn it around by just getting other... If I was in this company and I was in the headquarters here for uh, Timu and a lot of the stuff was China, I'd be having... I'd be pulling products in from, uh, from other com countries. Mexico, England, I'd be hitting up some other countries, which they may already have. They may have other country stuff in there that um, is probably just transparent because they don't really tell where they're shipping this stuff from. But I, I know for a fact my little gun come from China. But, um, yeah, you get security cameras, just all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's like a Chinese Amazon to me. I wonder... Before I close this out, I wonder, I guess I'll have to go all the way. Let's go to the About page. How do we know that's not a link? They've got to have, they've got to be pulling products from other countries. I mean, 11 plus million merchant base.
I don't see. So I use PayPal for just for the protection. I mean, you could use credit cards too. Visa, MasterCard, American Express. Let's see what shipping info says. Costs are free on most orders, but shipping was free on what I ordered. So they're eating the shipping too. In seven to fifteen business days, it it about eight eight days is what it took me to get my order. So, I think it's an interesting company. So far, I haven't had any issues with it. But I'm, I'm seriously looking at the stock. I'm going to watch it and see what it does for a while. But um, just want to bring this to your attention. If you see Timu, PDD is the stock ticker. Might be a good ticker to take a, a look at. I, I'm just thinking is, um, when the economy starts turning around, and all this, the dust is settling on COVID. The dust is definitely settling on COVID, but we still got to deal with China, the thing, the China conflict with the balloon, and we've got to deal with the um, the Russian, the Russian invasion of Ukraine. It's going to be another thing. So, you know, when things settle down and the economy starts turning around, I think this price will go up on this stock. I really feel like it has potential to. Will it? We don't know till it happens. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the links out there. Let you folks look at this and, and see what you think. This is an active site. You can order from them. I, had to, I, just, I just wanted to order something from them just to prove they were a real company because you get people talking. You talk about stocks and stuff and get haters on Twitter saying, oh, that's not even a real company. Oh, this is definitely a real company. So uh, anyway, I wanted to bring it to your attention. I appreciate everybody's support. And um, if you listen this long and watch the video this long, I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks. Uh, hopefully I can get to, uh, I'd like to get it to like 1,000 to 1,500 this year on um, on subscription. So uh, we're working on it, slowly working on it. But um, hopefully the stocks is going to turn around and the crypto, look like the crypto was, but the crypto's kind of dropped a little bit now. It was up in the past week, and uh, I'm gonna. Have, I've got some crypto videos too. I've had a a, a, a subscriber um, ask me to do a video on a couple of uh, of crypto tokens. So uh, be looking for that to come out. I'm gonna have to do some research on that, and uh, I'll come up with some videos on it. So um, anyway, folks. Uh, I hope you had a good week. Hope it's been a profitable week. Again, I'm not telling you to buy this. I'm just going. I'm just throwing this out here for somebody to look at. If somebody might be interested, I think this is a stable company. With the right now, the past two or three year history, I think this is a pretty strong company. So I don't think it's going anywhere very soon. But uh, anyway. Everybody have a good night. Hope you have a good weekend. And hope this next week is a profitable week. Hope 2023 is a profitable week for everybody. I know 2022 has been a nightmare for a lot of people. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Bella's got to be right up under me, don't you, Bella? Oh, my word. Cloudy day, looks like it may rain. Clouds out over the valley. The East Tennessee Valley. And Bella, she's just happy to be around. <laughs>